Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So today I got some pre-orders for new comic books to talk about. And even though I'm not the biggest new comic book day guy, uh, I did end up getting out there and purchasing three new comic book pre-orders just in the past few days here. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, the first one I did end up purchasing. Yeah, it's a uh, Carnage Black, White and Blood number one. Yeah, this uh, cover's looking pretty cool. It's the sort of Carnage version of these Patrick Gleason covers that are kind of the hottest thing going right now, admittedly. But uh, I think sort of at the price, this one was worth it to get a few of them, this being kind of the first uh, Carnage cover done in this uh, Patrick Gleason concept cover, which is really popular right now. Uh, so this one ships, uh, what is it, March 24th, uh, just sort of a new pre-sale. It's pretty popular right now, but it's still available. Um, I was getting a price of $5.10 US, which is from a Canadian seller, so it's probably adding in a little bit of Canadian taxes into that price. So you could probably even get it cheaper than $5.10 US each. So yeah, um, you know, these Patrick Gleason covers, I think eventually they're gonna get a little bit saturated, but right now, you know, the first print's pretty cool. I, got, I was lucky enough to pre-order two of these just kind of on a whim, and I'm really glad I did. Um, the more limited version of this one, that's a white cover that um, was released on his site, I believe, the Patrick Gleason kind of private website that he has. That one's cool. The Venom 33 uh, Venom version of this one's really cool. And that was, I believe, released on his site and was pretty limited. I think it's sold out really quick. Otherwise, I would have pretty much had it on this video. But um, this Carnage one, at the price being, you know, just a Marvel norm somewhat normal comic, I'm pretty sure this is like the cover A possibly for uh, Carnage Black, White, and Blood. If not, this is the, you know, the Gleason variant for about five bucks. Uh, so I ended up uh, pre-ordering three of them. Yeah, so pre-ordered three of this one. And yeah, you know what, eventually I think they will get a bit saturated, but those one, the three I just mentioned there, kind of the first print, the white version, limited uh, print, the Venom 33, and then this one are kind of the, gonna be the original Gleason covers of Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage. So they'll probably be somewhat collected. I think this one's worth it to probably get out there and, and uh, pre-order if, you, if you're liking this cover. Okay, next pre-order here is a really cool one I was seeing. It's a Future State Teen Titans number two. This is the uh, Win variant. And uh, this has uh, the Red X villain on the cover. A really cool, yeah, Red X cover. It's gonna be interesting. The next one we'll talk about which one's gonna be kind of the first Red X cover. But uh, I f pretty much forgot to mention on my first Future State pre-order video that I, I pre-ordered uh, two Teen Titans Future States number ones in the first print. Uh, I haven't got them in yet, otherwise I would have brought them out. Yeah, they're being, they should be, be arriving any day now. They shipped last week. But I got two of them, and uh, it's the first appearance of Red X, who, yeah, if you're... I did a little bit of research because I hadn't really watched any of the Teen Titans like animated cartoons or anything like that, but he's a really popular villain on um, some of these Teen Titans cartoons. And uh, this is his first, co the first comic book appearance here. So um, this uh, win variant though, and the number two, is his, probably his first really cool cover. We'll get into the second one as I mentioned there. I ended up pre-ordering this one though. It ships February 10th. I got, uh, what was it, three of them, yeah. Three of this one, just really liking the eye appeal of the cover. This is the second issue, right? So it's not really gonna be like the first appearance of Red X, like with the cool cover. Um, we'll talk about the next book. But uh, I was just really liking the eye appeal of the cover and ended up going for three. I was thinking like two or three, I wasn't sure. <laughs> They're about $5.35 US dollars was the price I was getting on a Canadian site, so I think you can get that even cheaper. But um, yeah, a, a bit on a, a whim, I got the first print of Teen Titans number one, Future State. And uh, that's ended up being a pretty big key. I think online now they're sort of going for 15 to 20 bucks. Um, and you know, so that noticing that maybe the Red X is kind of catching on a bit here, wanted to go after this one um, at cover price. So next one, uh, Future State Teen Titans number one, the second printing. So this one's got Red X on the cover as well. This is kind of the last page of the book, like superimposed on, on the second print cover here. So they release on the same day, th this book and the one we just talked about with the other cool Red X cover. So they're kind of like tied for the first Red X cover appearance, I guess. Um, so I ended up just, I wanted to grab, a, just kind of 
somewhat go all in on RX, I, or, uh, Red X, I guess. Uh, although I didn't get any 9.8s or anything. But uh, this second printing ships February 10th as well. Same day as that other one. And it's uh, I was getting four a little bit cheaper, $4.25 American on uh, the Canadian site I purchased from. And yeah, pretty cool second print variant. Uh, the number one issue, Teen Titans 1, is the first appearance of Red X. So this second print with him on the cover is probably gonna look pretty cool. And I think it's he's like in the background on this one where like this is sort of a rogue Teen Titans, I believe. Like I, I, I sort of flipped through the book and kind of half read it, but um, uh, I think uh, pre-ordering these first appearance of Red X books kind of makes sense at the cover price. And yeah, they're all pretty cheap. So, uh, and I, I ended up grabbing two. Yeah, so two of this uh, number one second print and three of the number two that win variant of the Red X cover looking pretty cool Okay, so the last one here is a uh, one I did not pre-order myself But uh, I've been thinking about it and you know, I'll probably mention it here It, it is on a uh, comic traders.ca or pullbox.ca that a uh, pr Pretty popular new comic book day site in Canada. There's still like three or four copies But uh, I probably won't end up pulling the trigger, but it's an amazing spider-man number 62 the new costume uh, reveal of amazing of uh, spider-man's new suit and this is the one of ten variant it's a dustin weaver cover i'm pretty sure a pretty cool eye appeal to this cover i believe like i think you know over time this could be like a you know pretty big key issue kind of like the iron spider-man suit first appearance key you know that one's about like 110 bucks in the 9.8 or 120 or something like that so this might have potential it's a little bit more rare variant with the cool suit on the cover uh, interesting with this one, we'll talk about price. It ships March 24th, so not not for a while still. It's kind of hard to find a presale on eBay. Interesting, like I saw, there's still that presale as I mentioned on Pullbox.ca, ComicTraders.ca. That's the same site basically. They both of those sites go to the same website. Um, they're nine dollars and forty five cents American, which is about twelve bucks Canadian. Uh, it is a Canadian website that one. On eBay, the lowest pre-sale I was seeing sell was like 20 bucks, I think it was. Uh, so yeah, you get those sort of fake eBay pre-sales where they're pretty much just selling the pre-sale book for double the price. Uh, if you like this one, get on uh, yeah that pullbox.ca and hopefully you can get, a, I'm pretty sure it said three left on their site of this more rare variant of the new suit for Spidey, which is a pretty cool one probably to pre-order. Although I, I admittedly kind of passed on it and um, you know, it, it'll probably end up being sort of like that Iron Spider-Man key. So kind of a mid, you know, decent key, but nothing too special, I guess. Okay, uh, so we'll conclude up there. Uh, let's have, I brought out some of my pre-orders that I've been getting in. I haven't got everything in, but uh, a couple of uh, next Batman number ones, Future State, the next Batman number one, the Lashley variant that I ordered from uh, Frankie's Comics. I got a pair of them. So here's the pair. That's the minimalist variant that was limited to a thousand printed. I also pre-ordered that one in the 9.8. So from Frankie's, but that'll take, you know, a month or two to process. So I'm, I didn't get that one in with this. Uh, this was the pair of them. This is the trade dress version, which I think was limited to maybe 2,500 of uh, next Batman number one. So, um, uh, no, I got, yeah, I got uh, two more of these in from another seller as well. Uh, so I got three of these, one of the, one of the minimalist and a 9.8 coming in. Uh, which other ones did I get? Um, oh yeah, and I, I ordered my next Batman number ones, just the cover A, I got those in as well. I got five of those in the cover A. Yeah, and the one thing I was kind of feeling a, a bit, uh, I should have, you know, I should have read it before I, I came on camera here, but I haven't had time to be honest. And I was flipping through the Teen Titans last night and I fell asleep, Teen Titans number one, because I wanted to read the first appearance of Red Axe and it does actually look pretty cool, but I still got to get into the next Batman. I've heard kind of mixed things like it's not that good, in, but I, I'm going to, you know, hold my opinions until I read it for sure. But <laughs> getting them in, uh, the um, uh, my uh, some of my variants for the next Batman number one. So I'm still waiting on uh, my, the Teen Titans first prints, Future State Teen Titans number one in the first print. I got two of them on pre-order. Yeah, really glad I kind of went for those on a whim because yeah, they're really kind of hot right now on eBay. Uh, my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one thirteen uh, cover A and B. I got two, uh, three in the cover A and two in the cover B. 
Uh, I haven't got those in yet. I believe they ship uh, this uh, next Wednesday, next new comic day. Uh, and also waiting for uh, the next Batman number two, Braithwaite variants that I ordered, I think six of them. Um, and uh, I really love that cover. That's like the unmasked uh, Tim Fox Batman. Uh, the next Batman Future State number two, Braithwaite variant, still waiting on those. And my minimalist CGC 9.8, uh, that'll be a couple months wait, I'm imagining from Frankie's comics. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh, pretty odd for me in the last few days here to pre-order like three or four books. Those Teen Titans ones were kind of last minute and I just was really liking the cover, certainly on that win variant. And then um, I think it kind of makes sense given that uh, I think it was a good whim there to get the Teen Titans number ones in the first prints, the two of those, which I haven't gotten in yet. But um, yeah, the fact that I just made a bunch of pre-orders in the last few days, I wanted to make a video and just, uh, cause yeah, most of these, I think you can probably still find them out there, hopefully, uh, for a decent price and watch out on eBay. Yeah, really, I would kind of go to your local comic shop for sure would be the first thing to do. Cause I think all of these are still gettable if, uh, you know, you got a good uh, local comic shop. Okay, uh, thanks so much for watching, though. Uh, hopefully you got some ideas on the pre-orders. Yeah, and just for someone that's right, not right into new comic books, I've, seems like I've been pre-ordering a little bit more uh, some of these cool covers lately. Okay, thanks, for, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. And hit the bell for all the latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter, too. All the links in the description below. Thanks again, though, for watching. Message me on Instagram if, uh, yeah, you did have any questions, whatever it might be. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Thanks again, team.